it's uh, I'm sure and you know when you think about how you spend our hours hour and hour yeah hour and hour in, in the office you have to have a, a good place to work yeah. uh, we see here patients uh, starting from 8 o'clock in the morning until probably sometimes 8 o'clock in the afternoon we have two or three uh, or uh, days or afternoons and um, so we're pretty busy we have uh, our practice has picked up in the, in the past two or three years. Tell me about your uh, stem cell treatments. What? Well, we uh, we offer our patients uh, um, cells uh, that are um, of the highest quality that a, uh, a practice can get. We get all, all our cells from uh, um, well-known uh, and very prestigious laboratories that treat them prior to. To infuse, and, and we um, we offer our patients also treatments that we, even though uh, as any other stem cell treatments are not guarantee in in their um, precise results, we offer them um, biosafety and we offer them a, a very low rate of complications. Our rate of complications in in our day-to-day -day practice is close to zero. So that's, that encourages patients to, uh, to, to come to us and, and get treated since, well, since they know that we're going to take good care of, uh, of their health. Particularly in your field of neurology and neurosurgery, um, I assume administration directly into the central nervous system is important. We, yes, you, the, the question is, uh, is, uh, is a good one because uh, uh, there is no many centers uh, in the world that, that can offer protocols that are tailored specifically for, for um, neurologic um, diseases. We have developed a, a, a protocol and a technique here in which we uh, are able to, to put the cells directly into the central nervous system via um, the, 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 the gap between L2 and L uh, between L3 and L4, and uh, with very little risk for the for the actual neural neural tissue because, as you know, the the the, the, the cone uh, uh, of the spinal cord ends at L1, so that decreases our, our our risk of injury to the central nervous system to almost none. Um, we also have proven. Uh, in the several different studies that we run uh, here that our cells, once you put it into the central, central nervous system intrathickly, they hang around and they circulate across the, the, the spinal cord and, the, uh, uh, and intracranially uh, for about 14 to 21 days. We have seen cell viability in, 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 in sequential CSF samples. We have seen that, uh, that they maintain number, numbers, they maintain uh, 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 strength, uh, and, and they maintain uh, a good uh, viability. So that encourages us to, to, to expand uh, our um, treatment to several different uh, neurological diseases. And uh, we have developed uh, with Dr. Feynman uh, uh, two or three different uh, formulas, um, disease-specific formulas to infuse our patients with that include stem cells, but not just stem cells, but growth factors and, 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 and uh, tissue stimulation factors. And in cases like Parkinsonism, I understand you have a neuron stem cell line that produces dopamine. Yes, uh, as, as I said before, we purchase all, all of ourselves from very well-known and very prestigious laboratories that, that uh, give us uh, um, lines that are already um, differentiated. So, our cells are not just stem cells, our cells are stem cells that are already compromised into, into the specific uh, uh, lines. One of them is a, a dopamine uh, producing uh, uh, central nervous system cells. And those are very strong, very potent, and, 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 and are known to produce dopamine even before they, they get uh, uh, close to the, uh, to the area of the 
brain that they are needed. And I believe that you treat uh, children in the first year of life that may have had or sustained brain damage or cerebral palsy or post meningitis or trauma. Yes, we have treated uh, uh, patients with those type of, uh, uh, of problems. Uh, and again, as I said, we, before uh, recruiting any patient, they go through a, a very thorough uh, selection process, uh, not just the, 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 the patients, but also the families. The, we, are, we make sure that they understand what they are going through. We, we make sure that, that we understand what is the nature of their disease. And once we have that well uh, established, then we uh, recruit those patients into our uh, um, studies um, and we uh, submit them to, to a experimental uh, treatment, which is, again, giving them not just stem cells, but tissue uh, uh, um, stimulation factors and, and growth factors. And we have had very uh, good results mainly with, uh, with uh, young toddlers in their initial uh, phases. So I believe that you treat a wide range of adults uh, with neurological problems like ALS, Parkinsonism, Alzheimer's, autism, uh, children with um, significant mental or development delays, and multiple sclerosis, spinal cord. It's quite a long list. We do, and, uh, and yes, it's a long list. And all our patients, when they come to us, they know that uh, they will go into uh, several se uh, se uh, uh, different study groups. And, and they know that they, themselves and, and our team, we, we are going to create a, um, a, a, a partnership in following them uh, through the process. We, have expanded our, our treatment group in order to, to look and seek for, for, for results that we still uh, uh, are, are, are yet to, 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 to know since, we, since all these uh, groups are new to, to stem cell treatments. So as I said, they know that, that they are going into an experimental procedure and that them and ourselves are, going, are, are pioneering this treatment, so we, we, we stress them to keep in touch with us and to, to tell us every single chance that they have that give us a good uh, um, uh, contact with our patients to, to, to follow and to register every single result, mostly in complex uh, diseases like Parkinson's, which is a, a, a set of symptoms. We want to know about each of, of, of their symptoms if they're improving, if they're not improving, if, they're, if, if, if they, if, what is their perception of, of, of the improvement from our treatment, all that is getting registered and we are going to, we are trying to establish which of them, of those groups are the ones that will benefit the, the most from, from our treatments and then just continue with those groups to, to, to as, as phase two and phase three of treatment. Tell us uh, briefly uh, a little bit about autologous stem cells from peripheral blood and bone marrow as opposed to the already differentiated uh, stem cells like the neuron stem cells that you get from umbilical cord blood and then also more recently about the induced pluripotent stem cells. Well, we, we work with uh, different type of stem cells. We have stem cells that come from uh, uh, from the, 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 the same patients, so that, so these are these are their own cells. They are called autologous. Uh, those autologous cells they can be from from their own bone marrow, from peripheral blood, which are which are plated rich uh, 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 in, in, in factors and in, in, in plasma, and we have. Uh, uh, um, pluripotent uh, uh, induced uh, cells that are, are obtained from the patient's circulation, treated and induced to create uh, stronger stem cells. Uh, and, and, and we have uh, um, uh, 
adult differentiated cells that are also differentiated from the, 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 the patient's uh, uh, own uh, circulating blood. In, that's in one part. In a different part, we have uh, donor cells that come from umbilical cord uh, and blood. The umbilical cord blood has a, a, a very uh, uh, strong uh, uh, characteristic for, for treating patients with stem cells. One is that they are easily differentiated because these are uh, uh, primitive cells, and two, that they don't create any rejection because these cells in the umbilical cord, they don't belong to the mother and they don't belong yet to the, to the, ch to the child. So these are cells that are not marked. So they don't create rejection. We have had very good results, very safe results with the umbilical cord cells. So they are good for differentiation, easy to differentiate. They create strong lines of stem cells. They can they can get immortalized, and they don't produce any type of rejection on on, on the uh, recipient uh, 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 side. So these are these are cells that are very encouraging. We are we have a, a, a enlarging group of patients that we have treated with, uh, with these cells and they are going very well uh, and, 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 and uh, it's a very, uh, very safe treatment for them. You uh, treated a child just yesterday, uh, a three-year-old child who has had brain damage secondary to having a form of an infection in the brain, encephalitis at the age of eight months and who's been left with um, developmental delays, lack of speech, and, and particularly having as many as 40 or 50 uh, drop seizures uh, per day. Uh, what happened the very next day after the treatment, uh, according to the mother? Well, we, uh, at first we were really concerned with this kid because this kid was, was one that uh, 